Firefighters across the province are being honored for their bravery and sacrifice as 134 names are added to the memorial wall just outside Queen's Park. They're all heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice in the name of duty and service to their community. And while they're no longer with us, their honor and sacrifice will never be forgotten. The names of 36 recent fallen firefighters now added to the Ontario Fallen Firefighter Memorial in addition to 98 names of those who were lost during the first two years of the pandemic. This memorial, a tranquil oasis in the heart of a bustling city, allows the many passers-by an opportunity to reflect on the ideals of duty and sacrifice. Ideals embodied in the work of every firefighter in this province. Art McGlynn, Burlington. This year was a special ceremony, the first in-person memorial since the pandemic began, honoring those lives lost since 2020. But as Deputy Chief Rob Grimwood reminded everyone, first responders have not taken a break. Firefighters serve their communities 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year in some of the most adverse and dangerous conditions imaginable. They come to the assistance of people, often strangers, when they need it most. Brittany Kostoff is a fire protection advisor with the Office of the Fire Marshal. She lost her dad, Captain Martin Kostoff, from brain cancer in August of 2021, a recognized occupational disease. He was our hero. Uh, everybody loved my dad. He would help anybody. He'd give his shirt off the back. She says he was a big inspiration for the entire family. My dad was with Toronto Fire. He was a captain uh, for 33 years. He was with Toronto. And my brother's actually a firefighter with Vaughn, just recently recently became captain and I joined the office of the fire marshal back in 2016. Um, I always wanted to be part of the fire service and in prevention. In total, 913 names are engraved on the granite walls, honoring the brave men and women who lost their lives in the line of duty. It's really special. That was something my dad really wanted to. Um, when he was sick, we would drive past this um, monument every, every day for several uh, months. It, it's hard. It's like opening a wound again. You kind of start being able to heal a little and then this kind kind of opens everything up, but it's nice to see all the fire service family members together and it's kind of everybody supporting each other. The Ontario Professional Firefighters Association says the ceremony serves as a reminder that these types of heroes face a number of different dangers on the job, including occupational illness and disease. For City News, I'm Leah Johansson.